Hello my dear kids. Today we are going to do another mathematics lesson from our second term. You can use your mathematics textbook part 2, page number 47 and 48 to do this lesson with me. Can you remember that we have learned the 24 hour clock time in our first term? So today we are going to do the part 2 of our time lesson. Let's see our world. What are we learning today? Addition and subtraction of time. To start our lesson, we need the basic relationships in between hours and minutes. We learned 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. And we need 24 hours to make 1 day. Let's see our first example. This student has started her mathematics paper, answering her mathematics paper around 10 o'clock in the morning. And she completed the answer in 11 o'clock in the morning. So, can you find the time she spent to answer her question paper? That is 1 hour. 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. means it's only 1 hour. So, we know that time started to time completed took 1 hour. That means time spent. It's only 1 hour. So, in this lesson, we need two or three important words. The first one is time started. The other one is time completed. If you know these two time then you can find the time spent. Now we are going to do subtraction of time. Let's read the given question and try to understand it. A student started answering her mathematics paper at 10 a.m. in the morning. She completed the paper at 11 a.m. Find the time spent to complete the paper. Now, can you see I have underlined the time given here 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. and also the time started, completed and spent are the very important words in this question. So, my dear kids, we are going to subtract time. For that, you need to concentrate on time started, time completed and time spent. Actually, subtraction of time means you are finding the time spent or else the time duration. So, here you don't want to write lengthy statements. You can just use these three words to make your statements. Time completed, time started and time spent. As we are subtracting, you need to write the bigger number first. That means the time completed. She completed the paper at 11 a.m. So let's write our first statement. Time completed 11 hours. She started 10 a.m. So time started 10 hours. Then the time duration or else time spent is 1 hour. 11 minus 10, 1 hour. Now you can read this question with the teacher. My mother started to make sandwiches at 4.30 p.m. She finished making at 6.45 p.m. Find the time taken to prepare sandwiches. Once again, you have the important words started, finished and taken. And we have learned that we need to subtract the started time from the finished time to find the time duration. Here the word time taken is given which is similar to the duration. So let's try the simple statements. Time finished 6.45 p.m. Time started 4.30 p.m. Time taken you have to subtract. So the answer is 2.15 p.m. Let's do the next question. This is little hard. Let's read it. The netball team started practices at 6.30 a.m. And finished at 8.15 a.m. How long did they practice? 
So in this question also you have the same words. Started, finished and how long which means the time duration. So you can simply write the statements time finished, time started and time spent. To make the sum little clear to you, I have shown the column headings, hours and minutes. In the minutes column, you have 15 and 30. In the hour column, you have 8 and 6. So you need to subtract 6 hours and 30 minutes from 8 hours and 15 minutes. Now time subtraction is little different from the normal subtraction. Here you are not going to concentrate on digit by digit. That means you are not thinking how to subtract 0 from 5 or else 3 from 1. What you have to do is you have to subtract 30 from 15. Both digits together 30 and 15. So here 30 is bigger than 15. Then you have to go to the hour column. Take 1 from the hour column. You know 1 hour means 60 minutes. So 1 hour becomes 60 minutes when it comes to the minute column. So 15 and you have to add 60 which you have taken from the hour column. 15 plus 60 means 75. Now 75 is bigger than 30. Now subtract 30 from 75. So the answer is 45 minutes. In the hour column you have 7. 7 minus 6 is 1. So kids when you are subtracting hours and minutes you have to consider the minute column. If the first number in the minute column is smaller than the second number then you have to take 1 hour from the hour column which means 60 minutes and then to the smaller number you have to add 60 and it and convert that into a bigger figure then subtract and get the answer so try these kind of questions and do your exercise given in page number 48 addition of time let's read the question the dancing competition started at 7.15 a.m. It finished after 3 hours and 30 minutes. At what time was it over? In this question also you have the important words started, finished and after 3 hours and 30 minutes. So started time is 7.15 and you have to find the time finished. And it is given after 3 hours and 30 minutes. So actually after 3 hours and 30 minutes means the time duration. So you have to add the started time with the time duration to find the time finished. So you can simply write the statements time started, time spent and time ended. So the answer is 10 hours and 45 minutes. Now read this question with the teacher. The train left the station at 4.45 a.m. It reached the destination after 6 hours and 55 minutes. At what time was it reached the station? So in this question also you have the same words. Left, reached and after 6 hours and 55 minutes. Left means the time started. Reached means the time ended. So after 6 hours and 55 minutes means that is the time duration or is a time spent. So the question asks at what time was it reached the station. So that means you have to find the time ended. So you can write the statement simply time train left, time spent and time ended. Once again I have shown you the column headings hours and minutes. So we have 4 hours and 45 minutes to add with 6 hours and 55 minutes. Let's start our addition from the minutes column. So before that you know 1 hour means 60 minutes. So then in 6 
in minutes column 60 is the maximum value which we can keep there so let's add 45 and 55 so the answer is 100 100 is bigger than 60 and 60 is the maximum value which we can keep under the minute column so then what you have to do is you have to subtract 60 from 100 that means if you have an answer which is bigger than 60 what you have to do is you have to subtract 60 from the answer here i have subtracted 60 from 100 minutes now i have 40 minutes with me and the 60 which i have subtracted i'm taking that over to the other column so once 60 minutes reach into the hour column it becomes one hour so then 6 plus 4 is 10 and one hour which you have taken from the minute side plus 1 so the answer is 11 hours and 40 minutes so go through this sum again and try these kind of sums in your exercise page number 48 Let's recall what we have learned today. We learned 1 hour equals to 60 minutes and then we discussed about subtraction of time and addition of time. In subtraction of time, time started to time completed equals to time spent or else time duration. If the minutes column is having a smaller figure to subtract a larger figure, what you have to do? You have to take 1 hour which is equals to 60 minutes and add to the smaller figure. And then in addition of time, started time and time duration you have to add together which is equal to the finished time or else time ended. If the answer in the minutes column is larger than 60 minutes, then you have to subtract 60 minutes and add that 60 minutes as one hour in the hour column. So do these exercises and go through these sums again. Stay safe. Thank you.